Every single policy area in the United States has a gigantic subtext of race. We have a criminal justice system today that is not only broken, it is racist. We can no longer oh, pretend that everything is race neutral. There's seven white people on this stage talking about racial justice. And, and I know that if I were black, my success would have been a lot harder to achieve. Yes, that's right. That's right. If I was black, I wouldn't have gotten as far because my police would have slammed me against a wall and frisked me. And then I would have said, wait, it's me. And they would have said, shut up, Blackie. And then they'd search my pockets and be like, who's $60 billion is this? And I'd be like, it's mine from when I was white. We've heard that before. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. The Democrats did have some interesting ideas around race. It was really interesting to hear them talk about it. I wish they would talk about it more. Tom Steyer proposed funding black business owners, specifically Latino business owners, people who have been disenfranchised. Amy Klobuchar talked about fair housing. Pete Buttigieg talked about the struggles black people have. It was great to hear. But once the white privilege PowerPoint presentation of the evening was done, <laughs> it was time to get to the main event, going off to Bernie Sanders. Can Americans trust that a Democratic Socialist president will not give authoritarians a free pass? I have opposed authoritarianism all over the world. What I said is what Barack Obama said in terms of Cuba, that Cuba made progress on education. Barack Obama was abroad. He was in a town meeting. He did not in any way suggest that there was anything positive about the Cuban government. Authoritarianism of any stripe is bad. But Period. that is different than saying that governments occasionally do things that are good. And when dictatorships, whether it is the Chinese or the Cubans, do something good, huh. you acknowledge that. Okay, now, to be fair, to be fair, I think people have been a little too hard on Bernie on this, right? The Fidel Castro thing especially, because all he's saying is something that Barack Obama also alluded to, that Fidel Castro, as bad as he was, did some good things, like education. That's it. You know, think of it like the Count from Sesame Street. Just because you commend him for teaching kids math doesn't mean you're condoning the fact that he's a vampire who sucks the life out of untold numbers of people. How many dead drifters in the alley? One, two, three dead drifters. Ah, 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 ah. But at the same time, Bernie, you have to admit, when people ask you about Castro, that's not the best time to mention his record on education. It's bad timing. Right? If your wife is yelling at you saying, I can't believe you cheated on me with all those ugly women, that's not the time to be like, some of them were beautiful. <laughs> some of them were really beautiful. That's not the time. <laughs> and that wasn't the only attack that Bernie had to face. Because you see, now that he's the front runner, he has everyone else gunning for him. Vladimir Putin thinks that Donald Trump is, should be president of the United States, and that's why Russia is helping you get oh, elected so Mr. you'll Bloomberg. lose to him. I am not looking forward to a scenario where it comes down to Donald Trump with his nostalgia for the social order of the 1950s and Bernie Sanders with a nostalgia for the revolutionary politics of the 1960s. Bernie, in fact, hasn't passed much of anything. I do not think that this is the best person to lead the ticket. But I think I would make a better president than Bernie. I, I'm, I'm hearing my name mentioned a little bit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bernie's a legend, man, because your name wasn't being mentioned, Bernie. People were screaming it at you. <laughs> Although I guess for him, shouting is so normal that when people shout at him, he's like, what a pleasant conversation for a change. <laughs> I'm so sick of everyone whispering. 